In this video, I will be reviewing the Joint Memorandum Circular of the Commission on Higher Education and the Department of Health on the guidelines on the limited face-to-face -face implementation in higher education institutions. The Commission on Higher Education in a Joint Memorandum Circular with the Department of Health released this guideline. The guidelines on the gradual reopening of campuses on higher education institutions for limited face-to-face -face classes during the COVID-19 pandemic. The objective of this memorandum circular is to serve as a guide of the HEIs intending to hold the limited face-to-face -face classes during the COVID-19 pandemic and take note and are, are, are willing to assume the responsibilities for the reopening of their campuses based on their capability to comply health and safety protocols, to retrofit their facilities, and to get support of the different stakeholders. The memorandum circular stated also that for the gradual reopening of campuses of HEIs for limited face-to-face -face classes, health-related degree programs regarded as vital in providing additional and support in the health system during the pandemic shall be prioritized. And these are the courses, medicine, nursing, medical technology, physical therapy, midwifery, public health. Furthermore, as stated in the memorandum, the subjects or courses under these priorities that shall implement or for face-to-face -face delivery are delimited to specialized laboratory courses like um, skill-based clinical clerkship, internship, practicum, including clinical rotations and graduate medical intern. In the joint memorandum order, limited face-to-face -face classes is defined pertains to restricting the number of students attending the face-to-face -face classes in campus in any given day based on the degree or courses they are enrolled in in a rotating schedule and implementation of social distancing and other health and safety protocol. We have to remember that limited face-to-face -face classes are not mandatory. As stated in the provision, it is with the discretion of the HEIs to decide when they intend to offer limited face-to-face -face classes during the pandemic. If the student, take note, if the student prefers to do flexible learning during the pandemic, this shall permit and let the student to take face-to-face, -face, such as this internship practicum whenever possible and readmission and maximum resendency. And it is also interesting that the provision stated that aged 20 years old and above and or as determined by the CHED and IATF is subject to the approval of the president. In the provision, it is also stated that students are allowed to enter on campus on the different situations. And these are uh, picking up learning materials, submitting academic requirements, consult with their professors, especially during thesis, presentation, access learning facilities, but with a limited time and some other related and significant activities. Whoever the HEI shall ensure health and safety protocols are observed by all times uh, for the students, especially during thesis presentation and administration of the final examination. 
at the same time, the students are also required or they have the responsibility to adhere the minimum public health standards and protocol as mentioned in the joint memorandum circular, like wearing of the proper PPE, uh, filing out the health form and other protocols as set by the memorandum. And according to the Commission on Higher Education, there are more courses to come. And the next possible program that would be open or limited in-person classes are engineering, information technology, industrial technology, and maritime related courses. With this, let's proceed to the interpretation of these different mandates as it affects pedagogical strategies and approaches in technology-enhanced flexible learning.